turbo gas vegetation under the high tension power lines across from Poe Dam. Italian 2118, Provincial 2121, Training 2107 inches, 2176 inches, 2161 inches, 2167 inches, 2186 inches, 2182 inches, 2162. Company 67, water tender 37, water tender 67, transport 2140, transport 2142, view crew 2, view crew 3, vegetation. And possibly in the area of Camp Creek Road, RP was calling from the Poe Dam. So looking across under the high tension power lines, there's a possible power line hazard. First unit at scene, Camp IC on pack 11, stand by for check back 066. We're on, okay. Well, to begin, today is actually the six month anniversary of the fire to the date, it's 10 o'clock. So we were out of paradise and we had re-met at the top of the Chico State parking structure around this time, it was pitch black. Um, we didn't quite know what, what to do with ourselves at that point. Uh, Jason headed back up to work after working that night and we went to some friend's house and stayed there for a few hours. So it's kind of weird to be six months out and here we are a couple days away from having the lot cleaned. But this was our house, <laughs> our garage door. Uh, it's changed a little bit. We used to have this really beautiful, they called it a lacy leaf maple. It was kind of a unique tree right here. It's just a good omen entrance. I think that tree was really beautiful. And then this was our front porch area. Whew. There was a couple things we had just found that I thought would be of interest to the family. This was one of the steins we had just got from Grandma and Grandpa's house. So it kind of made it, kind of didn't. It's pretty, but kind of a neat one. So this would have been, this was like the baby room. So this was Ace's room towards the end. See the little bed frames. This is where my, I used to come in the mornings and ride on the spin bike. <laughs> Needs a little bit of oil now.
And this was the big um, chest that we had gotten from the basement as well. From Grandma and Grandpa's house. But really nothing, we haven't been able to find much. There's like no jewelry that we've been able to sift through to find. Um, so we found the chicken. She was right here. <laughs> She was right in this area, one of those ceramic things. She doesn't have much color now, but. Say a word. <laughs> what are you looking for today? You need to kind of talk here. Yeah. We're draining the pool. Well, I would like to look for some of your jewelry, which would have been in this area. Um, but I don't have a mask and that's unsafe. Yeah. <laughs> We've looked. So now we're just kind of looking on the outskirts of the property for anything salvageable. And then also put as much debris into the footprint for FEMA to clean up as possible. Because they're just going to take the burn area. Right. So anything kind of that back there that got burned but wasn't right in the house area, we'll put in here. And So the footprint is what they're calling it, which is all this area. But we had half an acre, so it goes back to about where that backhoe is down there so anything salvageable the main reason we we're up here today specifically is to drain the pool it's a hazard for a number of reasons um, mosquito issues oh we didn't grab the wires to go around the you know on the plans they they know where our septic tank is okay um so i don't think that's going to be All right, off I go. Love you. Okay, well, good luck. That's right where the septic tank was. Don't walk over it again. So over here, this was our trailer that we had just gotten, oh gosh, six months before we were able to take it out once. Um, the morning of the fire, we decided we would try to get it out. Um, we had just put a winter cover over it and so we had pulled the truck around and had it hooked up and I was actually on top of the trailer starting to try to pull the cover off. and. It just kept getting darker and oranger, and then we started hearing explosions, um, which we assume we're thinking were propane tanks or power poles, and um, and then we just kind of looked at each other and just said, "This isn't necessary. Let's get let's just get out of here because we get, cars were starting to back up in front of our house already." So yeah, we just kind of abandoned it. <laughs> oh. And then this beautiful tree, this was my like prize joy, my fig tree. This gave the best figs every year. Too many. We would give them away. So. And this was our back deck.
And what's left of the hot tub. It's kind of an interesting This was the drum set that my parents had surprised the boys with. Jason and I went on a date, I think, and when we came back, my mom and the boys had gone on a walk around the loop, and there was a yard sale, and this was, they just couldn't pass it up. It was a screaming deal, so we came home to a drum set on our front porch from the grandparents. But still got a little life. My mom took this, there was a symbol. But this, the boys always had a lot of fun with this. So it's interesting that it was so close and it melted, but didn't quite burn. split this rock it's so the septic tank is around here so we want to kind of be careful that we don't you know they've had instances of people falling in but i mean this is you're talking about how hot this fire was it was just charring things things that shouldn't burn Training. There's nothing left. No. Some flowers it's in like there. Like the Rivy over there. I mean, it's 1968 hunk of steel, and it is just demolished. <laughs> and that exterior shop right there being made of mostly metal. I'm wondering how it went up the way that it did. Yeah. It's just amazing, really. Like we were talking about on the way up, you know, these homes with these new required fire safety upgrades box eaves and metal roofs and unless they're made of brick in a fire like this I'm not sure that it would, <laughs> it would it matter wouldn't even matter yeah you know there's Lori <laughs> whoo it's busy These were doing so good. <laughs> Maybe we'll take this back. We could replant something in that one. This is the kind of stuff that's just like, 
just, that was, you know, trailer and the aluminum. I just, what temperature does aluminum melt? Lori actually brought a N95 mask. Oh, so you can build So I'm gonna sift a little bit over there. Just see if I can find some of Sarah's rings. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Even if you just found the gold ingot. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Check quite a few of them. And we know the general area. And the last few times we came up, it was just too wet. So the ash was clay essentially and now we'll have a better chance it's our last chance because we have about eight days before they come and clean this up so which we're happy for we're happy as happy as you could be in this situation <laughs> believe it or not we're very lucky We didn't have to drive through fire to get out. We made it out. And our insurance company worked with us and we were able to get into a new home pretty quickly. A lot of people are still living in trailers and friends and relatives and hotel rooms, you know, so.